Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Dula. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist, and I'm a professor at East Tennessee State University. You may have seen my video online about how to deal with stress and anxiety in particular, and how to alleviate those really comes down to a few techniques that I'm gonna demonstrate here in this video. I won't give you a lot of rationale and background here because it's available in an hour long video and I hope you will go and look at that if you haven't already. And if you have, here's an opportunity to practice those very techniques that I demonstrated on stage. As a demonstration, I'm going to be able to sit here and go through the entire process. Uh, you don't have to fit, sit through the entire process, but if you will, you'll get the whole idea in mind. The way that you do it at home is really up to you. Um, but the idea is that you take control of your breathing, increase your oxygen levels, decrease your carbon dioxide levels, give yourself something concrete to think about and focus on when you might be experiencing stress or anxiety in your daily life. If you'll do this at home or at the office or in the car on a regular basis, you'll soon get the mastery that I'm talking about in the other video. These techniques work. They've been shown to work across all kinds of situations and improve all kinds of outcomes for people, health outcomes, behavioral outcomes, emotional outcomes. They really do what I say they'll do if you do them properly. Doing them properly really comes from taking time to practice. If you don't practice, you won't think to use them in your daily life. If you practice regularly, you'll find that you can master these techniques and then transport them into your daily life and really change outcomes that used to seem beyond your control. I'll just point out again, that this is not any kind of um, touchy-feely stuff. It's got data behind it. It doesn't involve religion or mysticism. It's about breathing. These same techniques have been incorporated for years and years in yoga and other kinds of meditative practices, but you don't have to do yoga and you don't have to do meditation to get the benefits from deep breathing. Deep abdominal breathing and progressive muscle relaxation are basically you taking control of your physiology to relax yourself and create a better outcome in stressful and anxiety producing situations. I'll take this audio portion and create an MP3 and hopefully we'll be able to post that in a place that you can access it. At the end of this video, if you've not seen the full video with complete rationale and how to apply these techniques to eliminate phobias and other kinds of anxiety issues, there'll be a link that takes you to that video. So just stay with us or fast forward to the end. As I go through this demonstration process, it'll look a little funny. I don't worry about that. The benefits far outweigh having people judge me for how I look. I've been doing this technique for many, many years and was taught it by Dr. Paul Fox at Appalachian State University. I've taught this to many thousands of people in group settings and hundreds of people individually in clinical settings. And again, when people do it properly and apply it consistently, it always works to reduce stress and anxiety. If you will follow this procedure and do it at your own pace and fit your own breathing, and fit it into your own daily schedule on a regular basis, I'm certain that you will see benefits arise. With that, we'll go ahead and go into the techniques, which again involve deep abdominal breathing and progressive muscle relaxation, which is simply tensing muscles progressively from one group to the next. I will say a lot of the same things over and over and over again, which helps you to maintain focus on something we simply don't pay much attention to usually. For me, I close my eyes. It'd be nice if the situation was dark. You might find a, a room in your house or apartment or trailer that you can darken the lights down a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. In the studio here, the lights are very bright. Find a chair that's really comfortable, or you can do it laying down. For people with insomnia or sleep issues, this is a really great technique to help relax. Even if you can't sleep, you can get some relaxation in. And as we go through the process, the deep breathing will always continue even when we switch over to the progressive muscle relaxation focus. And I'll continue to talk about that. So the deep breathing again is in through the nose. And count your pace as you breathe in. The stomach is going to rise. So I've got my stomach where you can see it and you can see my hands move as I breathe in. As I breathe out, stomach falls and then my hands will go inwards. So as we do our deep breathing, I always recommend people put one hand on their chest and one hand on their stomach to monitor this breathing process. You're trying to breathe from the diaphragm, which is the muscle band right here at the bottom of the rib cage. And by pulling that out, 
extending the stomach dramatically, you're going to suck air to the bottom of the lungs, which is exactly where you want it. As you breathe out, you'll breathe out slower than it took to inhale. Stomach will fall. And then when you get to the bottom of what seems like the end of the breath, you'll pull in and up on the diaphragm and expel any stale air that's at the bottom of the lungs. This process alone can be very relaxing, but it takes some conscious focus to do it. So let's do it for a little while. In through the nose and out through the mouth is preferred, but that just keeps you conscious of the breathing. It really doesn't matter that much whether you do it through the nose or through the mouth. So I'll start breathing and I'll count. Eight, hold, three, out. Ten. And I'll try to keep my breath consistent throughout. Whether you can hold for five or eight or ten is not the point. Start wherever it's comfortable. Breathing in through the nose for the practice at least. Stomach will rise at your pace that you're counting to yourself. Until you can feel the ribs expand and the lungs are at full capacity. And you hold that breath for a second or two. And then release gently and slowly out through the mouth. Stomach will fall till you feel like you're at the end of the breath. And then you'll pull gently in and up on the abdomen. Using the diaphragm to propel out any remaining stale air and continue the process. You can do this inconspicuously while you stand or as you sit at work or wherever, certainly in the privacy of your own home. But I'm going to make my noises of breathing louder so that you can hear what I'm doing and see very clearly what I'm trying to accomplish here. Some people use visualization to help them relax. That's not necessary, but it's certainly something that can be incorporated. So some people breathe in, they might envision oxygen molecules coming in and filling their lungs. And as those oxygen molecules fill their lungs, they might see carbon dioxide then exchange place in the lungs coming out. And then as they breathe out, seeing that carbon dioxide float away into the atmosphere. You could also represent it with little um, round disks. They might be light blue or whatever color you think is relaxing that as you breathe in, you're breathing in a relaxation and then as those blue disks are exchanged for red disks representing carbon dioxide, that you're breathing out stress or anxiety. But the main thing is that you do the breathing in a continual fashion, very steady. You can feel yourself starting to relax. This is a great time to start paying attention to the body more closely than we usually do. There's no magic in this, but it's really amazing what your consciousness can do when you take control of it rather than your mind taking control of you. So as you get comfortable in the groove that you're breathing in, you might take the next opportunity to breathe in to take one pace longer to breathe in, to hold for one pace longer, and to breathe out for one pace longer. Whatever you're doing, as long as it's comfortable, you're doing it right. So now I'll start the progressive muscle relaxation. And in this, we're going to continue the deep breathing and you continue along the pace that you've established. I'll call out on your next deep breath in, but I'll obviously be going along with my own breathing. And you just start the clenching of muscles and releasing of muscles along with your own breath. Try to stay conscious of your breath as you go through the process. And I'll continually remind you of it to the point that it'll seem redundant. You can focus on my words or you can let them just kind of drift by as you do your own thing. So as we take our next deep breath in, we'll do the muscles in the feet. I tense mine as I'm curling my toes under and kind of pressing them into the floor. 
Tense as tightly as you can without causing pain. Hold the tension with the breath. And when you're ready to release the breath, say to yourself internally, relax. Release the tension in the muscles as you release the breath. Remember to kick out the stale air and to always engage your stomach as you breathe in and out. Clenching of the muscles in the feet is a great time to check in on the body's response. You can feel the tingling sensation for some people. For others, there's a temperature change, either a cooler or warmer feeling. For others, there's a sense of weight change, either a lighter or heavier foot. And as you've tensed the muscles, all you've done is close off the capillaries so that when you release the muscles, you'll find that that oxygenated blood will rush back in and you can feel the effects in a way that helps to deepen your relaxation. We'll continue this way through further muscle groups all the way up to the top of the head. And then we'll sit around and visualize for a minute if you care to do that. And then we'll conclude the presentation. On your next deep breath in, tense the muscles in your lower leg from your knees to your ankles. I pull my feet up a little bit and kind of press my heels into the floor. Stomach rises as you breathe in. And when you reach maximum capacity where you can feel the ribs expanded, hold the breath and the tension as tightly as you can without causing pain. And when you're ready to release the breath, release the tension in the muscles as you let out the breath. Note the physical sensations you feel as you deepen your relaxation and continue your deep, deep breathing. You may feel yourself pulled more deeply into your chair as you no longer resist gravity and you feel more and more comfortable. At any time you have total control, you can open your eyes, you can look at the sounds you hear around you, or you can keep your eyes closed and remain totally relaxed. On your next deep breath in, tense the muscles in your upper legs from your knees to your buttocks, tensing your thighs as tightly as you can. Breathing in, stomach rises. Hold the tension and the breath together. And when you're ready, say to yourself, relax. And release the muscles with the breath. Don't forget to kick out the stale air by pulling in and up on the diaphragm. You can readjust at any time to become even more comfortable. It's important to give yourself permission to take the time to do this relaxation because we just don't make time for relaxation in our busy worlds. Now on the next deep breath in that we take and do the muscle tension, it'll be impossible for you to extend the stomach because we're gonna tense the muscles in the stomach and the lower back. And a word of caution for people with back trouble, do not tense so tightly that you cause pain. So be very gentle if you have back trouble, but you'll still wanna do the basic muscle tension as tightly as you can. And what you feel comfortable with is the rule of thumb. So breathe in again toward the bottom of your lungs. This time you won't rise, won't let the stomach rise. You'll actually pull it in, but you will feel the ribs expand nonetheless. So target your breathing on the next day, breath in, tense the muscles in your stomach and the lower back. Ribs are fully expanded, stomach is tight, lower back is tight. And when I'm ready to release the breath, I say to myself, relax, and I let the lower back sink as the stomach now becomes flexible again. Sink more deeply into the chair. Stomach now starts to rise again with the next breath. And you can take your hands off your chest and your stomach if you haven't done so already and just get more and more comfortable. The main thing is to focus on the breathing now. Stomach expands, ribs expand, chest stays relatively still. Breathing out slowly through the mouth, stomach falls, chest stays relatively still as the ribs contract and we get to the end of the breath. It's in and up on the diaphragm to blow out the stale air.
and repeat. Now, continuing to use your stomach in that manner, raising up and down. The next group will tense is the chest and upper back. So on your next deep breath in, tense your chest and upper back, your pecs, and I use that as if I'm pushing them against one another. Stomach comes out, which is a bit of a trick. Tension is complete in the upper back, again, being careful not to cause pain and in the chest. When ready, say to yourself, relax, which becomes a key word to help you remember to check in on your body as you do this process. And relax the muscles as you expel the air into the atmosphere and sink more deeply into the chair or the bed. Or as you're standing, just enjoy that relaxation sensation more deeply. On the next deep breath in, we're going to do the muscles and the hands, wrists, and forearms by clenching fists with the thumbs on the outside. So on the next deep breath in, tense the muscles in those areas as tightly as you can without causing pain. Breathe in as deeply as possible. And when you're ready to release your breath, say to yourself, relax. And you can let the hands and arms fall wherever you wish. As I'm talking and going through this, it's impossible for me to sync the breath entirely with the muscles, but hopefully you're getting the rhythm from the verbal cues. The hands are another great place to check in on the bodily sensations. Again, you may feel tingling or change of weight or a change of temperature as a sensation, which is perfectly normal. And on your next deep breath in, we're going to tense the muscles and the upper arms and the shoulders. I do that by making the traditional muscle man pose on the beach, tensing the biceps, triceps, and shrugging up on the shoulders. So on your next deep breath in, tense muscles in your upper arms and your shoulders. Stomach rises. Hold the tension as tightly as you can without causing pain. Hold the breath until you're ready. And when you're ready to exhale, say to yourself, relax. And you can now let the arms fall wherever they're most comfortable. Again, you can move at any time. You're in complete control of the situation. It's not a hypnotic trance. It's just a relaxed state of mind. You can do anything you want. And one thing you should be noticing is now you're taking control of how you feel and inducing a state of relaxation. On the next deep breath in, we're gonna finish off the groups and that's gonna include the muscles in the neck and the face and the head. And it looks funny to some people as I grip my teeth, I'll squinch my eyes and furrow my brow and again, shrug up on my shoulders. But again, I'm trying to get the benefits, not worry about how it looks to others, but if you're in public, you can choose whether to do this or to not do this. So on the next deep breath in, I would also say, <laughs> before we go there, that by clenching the muscles around the eyes, you're gonna put pressure on the eyes. Be careful not to cause pain, but you'll see spots of light, spots of color, as you press in and the optic nerve is activated. That's perfectly normal and it'll fade away very quickly. So on the next deep breath in, we'll tense the muscles in the neck, face, and head. Ridding my teeth, squinching my eyes, furrowing my brow. Hold the tension and the breath together. And when you're ready, say to yourself, relax. Let the tension go as you let the breath out. Let the shoulders droop. Let the neck loose. Unclench the teeth. Unfurrow the brow. And the spots of color or light that you may have seen will start to fade. You can move your head around to get it even more relaxed. You can move any way that you'd like to move to increase your relaxation. So on the next deep breath in, we're gonna check the entire body. Look for any residual sources of stress as you raise your stomach high. Any tension you may feel in any part of the body. 
And when I call the next deep breath, you can tense that area one more time and then release, or you can do a whole body tense as I'll do. So on the next deep breath in, tense whatever area is still a little bit stressed or the whole body. And when you're ready to release the breath, say to yourself, relax. And let all tensed muscles release, go droopy, move about any way that makes you feel comfortable, and continue your deep, deep breathing. As we've concluded the progressive muscle relaxation, you'll notice, I hope, that you have achieved a deep state of calm, relaxing that takes your control and applies it to your own experience, relieving stress and relieving anxiety. Enjoying these moments you've created for yourself, you may choose to do visualizations. You've heard the cliche, go to your happy place and things of that nature, but some people really do visualization well. They are able to see clear images or hear clear sounds, and if you'd like to do that, you can at this point. If you don't want to do that, just continue to focus on the deep breathing and appreciate the state of relaxation that you've created. Deep breaths in. Stomach rises. Hold for a moment. Complete breath out. Stomach falls in and up on the complete exhale. If you choose to do visualization, the only requirement is that the scene you create be relaxation. Make it a place that you'd like to be, a place that you'd like to remember. It could be a fantasy, it could be a memory. Whatever you choose, it's just consistent with being calm, cool, and in control. So try to visualize that place in your mind's eyes. You continue to breathe deeply. What elements are there there if you're visualizing? Are you alone with somebody else, indoors or outdoors? Try to see the details and try to let those details further your calm. As you continue your deep, deep breathing and or appreciation of relaxed state, if you're doing visualization, try to notice any smells or sounds in the environment using your mind's nose or mind's ears. Try to recreate those sounds. If you're outdoors or if you're indoors, you might hear a television or a hum of an air conditioner or a breeze or an ocean. Continuing the deep breathing. Feel the feelings you would feel in that space, both physical and emotional. If you're outdoors and you're standing up and there's a breeze, what does the breeze feel like on your skin? If you're indoors and you're sitting down, feel the couch that you'd be on if you're not on it, in fact, already. And continue the deep breathing. And you can go on like this for as long as you wish. You'll notice that your mind has probably drifted many times and my voice has helped guide you back to focusing on the breathing and the muscles and the relaxation. And that's the goal of the practice. It's just to get better and better at monitoring and maintaining that state on your own. You can use this hopeful MP3 as a tape, or you can just play this video again, hopefully as a guide. But within a few sessions, you should have it on your own. And you'll know that you have it correct when you feel a real difference between starting and stopping in terms of your relaxed state of mind, feelings of calm, being in control, reduce stress and reduce anxiety. At this point, I'll start to count backwards from five and on one, I'll open my eyes and readjust my surroundings and you can do the same. If you've fallen asleep, that's perfectly normal and you can either choose to stay asleep or wake up as you will when we're done. I'll do the counting with my breath, but you continue with your own pace. You might deepen it by one pace, hold, one more pace and exhale at one more pace, or you can just continue what you've established, staying conscious of the breath and the state of bodily relaxation and the mental calm you've created.
five, realizing now that relaxation is not something that comes naturally, that it's a skill. We realize we can develop the skill by practicing it on a regular basis and becoming better and better at the skill. Four, as we master the skill and find that we can apply it in our daily lives in situations where we used to feel out of control to help restore a sense of calm and in storing a sense of calm, a sense of control. Three, the better you get, the more you control the situation quickly and completely. And that sense of control sometimes makes you the most put together person in the room, which is a skill you can now share with others. Two. And one. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes if you have them closed and reorient to your surroundings and evaluate how you feel. You should feel somewhat different, and that feeling should be a sense of relaxation and calm. If it's not, you may be in the presence of others and it may seem awkward, but practice on your own. Some people feel dizzy. And they do the deep breathing at first because they're not used to having so much oxygen in the system. But you'll get accustomed to it quickly. The more you practice, the more rapidly you'll be able to achieve this state of mind and state of bodily relaxation. And again, you'll want to apply it in your daily life, which takes conscious effort at first. The more you do it, the less effort it takes. I hope you'll practice this on a regular basis, apply it on a regular basis, and I hope you'll teach these concepts to other people to help alleviate stress and anxiety for them and throughout the world. Thank you for your time and your attention.